24-7 Fusion Media. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And I just caught a wind of this article just came out and I thought it was very interesting to see that one of the co-creators of the Naked Gun, David Zucker, is not excited by the Naked Gun reboot. And it's interesting because when you have a lot of these original directors that have put out classic, iconic, cult classic movies, Naked Gun is something unique within itself. And the way it's been put together is something that no one can actually do. It's a unique piece of, of genius within itself. So just to see that uh, it's gonna be replicated, it's gonna be uh, crazy. Says this past February, Paramount announced a Naked Gun reboot starring Liam Neeson and Pamela Anderson and set up a July 11, 2025 theatrical date. The original Naked Gun movies were created by Jim Abrams and the brothers David and Jerry Zucker from Airplane. Sadly, those comedic geniuses are not behind this upcoming reboot. Speaking with TMZ, David Zucker says it came as a bit of shock when Paramount handed the franchise to a totally different set of creatives. He also expressed skepticism towards any sort of reboot of his beloved franchise adding that it's quite difficult to replicate this type of comedy. Now, the thing is, is that this is 2024. This is a completely different time than when the original Naked Gun and uh, Files from the Police Squad were out. And to be real, what kind of jokes are we gonna be looking at in modern day Naked Gun. Especially if it's not coming from the creatives who created it in the first place. And they're right here saying, hey guys, they decided to come out with a new Naked Gun and we're not even a part of the process. So how can you replicate or try to match that kind of humor on that kind of level and the creatives are not even involved? These were the people that made Naked Gun what it is. Some crazy shit. And the funny thing about it is that a lot of these franchises are now being rebooted, re remade, reimagined for modern audiences. And the original people that created a lot of these franchises, they're still around. And saying, hey, you know what? The movie company, you know, Paramount or Warner Brothers or Universal or whoever just decided to go ahead and run with a whole new team of people that don't know shit about the franchise, don't give a fuck about the characters, and all they want to do is up upgrade it, thinking that it's going to be something better than the original, and it never is. It's baffling. <sighs> I'm telling you. So Zucker goes on to mention how he and his partner, Pat Proft and Mike McCannis submitted a script to Paramount back in 2018 and says that they thought the studio liked this concept. Clearly, they went in another direction. Said, we are not excited about having the franchise given to other people. At the time, I couldn't believe it because we thought we had a great script and they loved the script from what we heard. I don't have any control over it. I'm not involved and they haven't asked me for any help. It's completely their concept and they're just going to go ahead and do it. Wow, that's so fucked up. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Just to think, for us to get something in 2024, 2025, something from the, the, the same creatives that came out with Airplane, and the Naked Gun come back with something new in today's 
time. What would that look like? And we got robbed of that shit. I would have loved to have seen it. Like I've said before, fucking comedy's dying. And a lot of people, um, I know I made, that, I made that comment before and I was told, well, not the stand-up comedy. I said, yeah, but the stand-up comedies aren't doing shit for the movies, the comedy movies. Even though, you know, comedy in one way is thriving, it's dying in a whole nother fashion when it comes to the movie industry. So my point and what I'm trying to say here is that we could have used something like this now. And what we're getting is some new shit. And hopefully from what I'm, I'm gathering is you got Seth MacFarlane writing this. And I don't know how true that is or not, but if it is, Hopefully Seth MacFarlane could come with something that's on the level of the Zucker brothers. So, and it says here, Neeson has some heavy shoes to fill. Leslie Nielsen was a sheer perfection in 1988, the naked gun from the files of the police squad. This comedic classic, a spoof of the detective genre was created by Zucker only after he scrapped plans for Airplane 2. So, yeah yeah so he's not he, he's not happy with this at all you know and um you know i i don't know i i just think that they should have gave uh david zucker and and his boys a shot at this coming from the original people now if they wanted to uh make it more updated or you know for modern audiences and they threw a lot of woke shit in there then uh, we're gonna have to see how the jokes land. We're gonna look, this is gonna be interesting to see what happens with this movie coming next year because uh, yeah, Liam Neeson has some pretty big shoes to fill when it comes to uh, fucking with Leslie Nielsen. So that's my take, that's how I feel. You guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Uh, do you agree with uh, David Zucker and how do you think about how we got shafted by the studios when it came to uh, him thinking he had the, you know, the go ahead for uh, a new Naked Gun movie turning into script from 2018? Oh, man, that's that, that must that must really bite. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And as always, it's your boy 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. And I'm out. Peace.